just heard about this bullshit. I was under the impression that Donald Trump was going to uh, a black church in Detroit and was going to give a speech in front of the congregation. I just found out that this motherfucker is not going to speak to the congregation. He's going to do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a pastor and it's not going to be immediately televised and the questions are uh, going to be pretty clear. What kind of bullshit is this? This guy is full of shit. And any of his black surrogates that say anything else are full of shit themselves, which you know they're going to do it. Uh, Daryl Scott's probably going to uh, uh, announce that this thing is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And uh, stupid ass Paris Denard is probably going to uh, uh, suck this shit down like a mama's apple pie. Here's the story. It was originally billed as a speech to show the, quote, heart and compassion of Donald Trump to a predominantly African-American congregation in Detroit this Saturday. Instead, there will be no speech, just a one-on-one -on -one interview with the congregation's Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, set to air a week later on the bishop's own Christian TV channel, The Impact Network. And tonight, there are shocking new details on just what that interview will look like. The New York Times has obtained an eight-page document that purportedly shows the 12 questions the bishop intends to ask Mr. Trump, as well as lengthy, a lengthy scripted answers for Donald Trump to use, answers that were devised by aides working for the Trump campaign and the Republican National Committee, according to an official who has been involved in the planning. As for comment, Trump campaign spokeswoman Hope Hicks said, I'm not aware of the document you reference, but as you know, Mr. Trump is an unscripted candidate. He is genuine and authentic, but not on prepared. And joining me now is April Ryan, White House correspondent and, for the, and Washington Bureau Chief for American Urban Radio Networks and Cornell Belcher, president of Brilliant Corners Research and Strategies and former pollster um, for the DNC. Okay, so April Brilliant really Cornell, this is weird. But April, what do you make of the fact that Donald Trump, you know, we talked about this a little bit earlier uh, about what he did in Mexico versus Arizona. He talks a good game when he's in front of his own crowd, gets in front of the president of Mexico, not so much, talks a lot about African Americans at these rallies in all white communities, but now when it's time to go before a black congregation, he needs a script. What do you need? What do you make of that? Well, Donald Trump truly does not know African-American history, and someone even questioned he doesn't know the history of this country to a certain extent. So therefore, I understand why the script. But what's the point of even having the interview? We already know the questions. We already know the answers. And he's just going to sit in the church. So what is the point? Um, and, and, and Joy, as you know, uh, many of us, many of us in the African-American community, uh, many African-American journalists who work for black media have been making a formal request of Donald Trump to talk to us unscripted, unabashed, and just talk to us real one-on-one. -on -one. And to this, 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 I don't know, this scripted event this weekend, um, I look at it as editing at its best. Uh, you won't see the faux pas that we've seen before. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. Um, I know it's a great boon for, for the bishop to get that interview, but he needs to, to answer real questions yeah. in front of real journalists well, because there are so many negatives in almost every category when right. it comes to African Americans. And, and Cornell, you know, I, I don't know that it's such a good thing for the bishop. He's really being slammed by a lot of people for doing it this way. Right now, um, the, P, the latest public policy poll has Donald Trump's favorability uh, with African Americans at zero. Um, here are some of the questions that he has been scripted to answer. Um, we'll go right to the one whether or not he's racist. Is your campaign racist? Donald Trump's response is going to be the script suggests Mr. Trump avoid repeating the word racist and instead speak about improving education and getting people off welfare and back to work. The proof, as they say, will be in the pudding. And the, Mr. Trump is advised to say coming into a community is meaningless unless we offer alternatives to the horrible progressive agenda, yada, yada, yada. Um, you, as somebody who is a man of data, will that appeal saying, we're going to get all of you black people off welfare? Is that the way to <laughs> appeal to African Americans? There's, there's a couple of things that are really hilarious here to me. Also, that report is he's consulting black Republicans. You know what you shouldn't do if you want to win more black voters is consult black Republicans because in fact you get stuff like uh, if they ask you if you're racist you talk about getting people off of welfare. 
What? I mean, it's not like it is all. It is all. Cornell, you know, you know we live in these hell holes and we have to crawl out of them through the month just to get to work every day. I have to play you guys this real quick, though. We don't have a lot of time. This is an earlier exchange that we have. This is not about African American outreach. This was a guest who is the head of uh, Latinos for Trump, Hispanics for Trump. This is what he said to me uh, about Donald Trump's Latino outreach. Take a listen. This is this is a different different time, and we're having problems here. We need what to. We need to reform. What, what, what problems are you talking about? But my culture is a very dominant culture, and it's imposing and it's causing problems. If you don't do something about it, you're gonna have taco trucks every corner. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm sorry. Uh, the, well, hold on a second. Um, I have to let Adriano in here. I, I don't, I, I don't I, even know what that means, and I'm almost I, afraid to ask. I'm offended. I, I'll, I'll, tell know, culture, that, I'll tell you what that. I'll tell you what that means. The says. Spanish never conquered Mexico. The, we are a culture that. We are, have a lot of good are things you, that we bring to, to, to the United States, but we also have problems. I can give you each at least 15 seconds. Now, just 15 seconds. Abel, go. Your response. Donald Trump took a picture with a taco bowl. Come on. What in the world? Cornell, give us the science on this. What does that mean? I, I did not understand it. The science is, you remember the, the character Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks? Uncle Ruckus, that's the science. <laughs> Well, this should be a very interesting weekend, and thank you very much for interpreting that for me, April Ryan and Cordell Belter. Wow, thank you very much. That is all for this evening. I'll be home. All right, so um, here we go. Donald Trump, and just like they said, why even go? He could just mail, you know, we already know the questions. We already know the answers. He should, can just mail them in. He doesn't even have to go to Detroit. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, but he really is out uh, reaching to the African American uh, community, that pastor, whoever you know, whoever he is, uh, I, I'm going to check him out on Twitter because he's got to be getting slammed because that's ridiculous. He's just another uh, uh, bought and paid for preacher that's uh, in Trump's pocket.